Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is uh, Wednesday morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, or just after 10. As you can see, it's a nice, bright, sunny day. It's supposed to be up to 67 today, but with higher winds, uh, the winds are starting to pick up. It was calm this morning, but uh, it's supposed to get up to like 23 mile per hour winds today. So we'll see what happens. But nonetheless, it's a beautiful day out right now. and. I gotta go to a couple places, so I figured I'd bring you along. Since you all enjoyed the last ride, um, I'm gonna be stopping at Aldi for some bread and some cat food. And then I'm going to head over to the bakery shop for rolls uh, for summer sausage sandwiches at lunchtime. And then, um, oh. I'm actually going to go to two bakery shops because one, we don't really like the bakery from there. Uh, their dough, their bread is real doughy. They've changed it over the years, but we do like the rolls from there. So, but the other bakery shop is just around the corner. So I'm going to get some bakery there. And uh, yeah, should be it. <laughs> So I just wanted to say thank you for all the kind comments uh, in the last uh, uh, video I posted where I took you for a ride and just chit chatted and talked about the food pantry and I just want to thank you all for the comments, the very nice comments letting me know that you're here for more than just the food pantry halls or any halls. So I really appreciated that. It meant a lot to me. So thank you so much for those comments. I always appreciate your comments anyway, but that really made me feel better about worrying about if my subscriber base is going to go down because I won't have as many food pantry hauls. Um, tomorrow is the food pantry day and I will probably go to the afternoon one because we are out of milk now and eggs so I'm hoping they have milk and eggs. Uh, we do have a couple eggs left. I just uh, dug into the dozen so um, So I probably will go tomorrow. I did skip last week um, So we'll see But I just wanted to say thank you guys For all the support you give this channel. I really appreciate all of you And I enjoy doing these kind of videos for you uh, the drives and chit-chatting um, and I also love doing the crafting videos and posting bird cam videos. Just everything in my everyday life. And soon I'm actually going to start doing more POV videos while I'm cooking. So you'll get a little higher view. Oh, this whole area is blocked off with track or uh, construction. They just started this construction. Seems like this city is always under construction. And then the next year they need to have they need to redo the stuff again <laughs> but nonetheless um, yeah so I enjoy doing different videos not just hauls uh, just in our everyday simple budgeted life <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to say thank you so thank you in front of me was a little confused on what to do next. Um, 
usually to the right where you see all that dirt on the sides that's the actual uh, opposite going lanes but it's all tore up now so the person in front of me was a little confused which I don't blame them uh, this is all confusing yeah I hate construction areas <laughs> I really do uh, especially if you're driving at night, it's it's horrible. to our left here so I'm going to make a left here they tore down everything all the street lights or the traffic lights and everything so I just backed into my spot at Aldi so I'm gonna go ahead and go in I did uh, put my chest harness on so I can attach the action camera to that and take you along with uh, without having to hold the camera so um, so I'll take you along in there I know you've been in there with me already but I did bring a quarter and a bag today <laughs> to uh, put my stuff in uh, I remembered that so I actually brought this bag uh, this bag was sent when I received uh, some friend mails from Amazon the last uh, bird window cling uh, they actually came in this nice bag so I'm gonna use it to uh, put my oh my hair my braid is caught in my uh, earring um, for those of you that have been asking about my earrings I do not make them um, so I just wanted to make that clear so yesterday I was wearing the shorter pair the red and white ones those were made by um, Sunny so Sunny sent those to me. I love those earrings and uh, they're perfect for wearing around the house or if I'm just outside. Um, I usually just wear these long ones when I'm out and about and then when I'm around the house, uh, especially if I'm doing stuff, I just wear the shorter earrings. So, all right, so I'm gonna head in and uh, let's just go get some bread and probably some Pop-Tarts or something. Uh, we like their Pop-Tarts, the Aldi brand, better than Kellogg's or anything. Um, so sometimes we just pick up some Pop-Tarts to have around. All right, so we're gonna head in now. I always carry the mace around as well.
take your audience in your seat. Thank you for shopping at all these. everyone so I'm done in at Aldi that was nice and quick I didn't need much just some bread and uh, cat food and uh, yeah so having that bag worked out perfect everything fit in there perfectly so yeah I'm glad I remembered that so all right I'm gonna head to one of the bakery shops now to get some rolls and uh, yeah just enjoy the ride again this is another teaser we are going to get back into the 50s which is not too bad for me but still not warm enough for Glenn to stay outside so we're always watching the forecast the 10 day outlook to see if it's consistently going to stay at least in the mid to high 60s uh, with little wind so he can come up um, He's dying to get out to the garage to organize his airplanes and also to go flying. So we are actually dying to go fishing. We didn't fish at all last year and the year before it was very minimal. So we'd like to get back to the things we love to do. Fishing, camping. But I went on the, the website for the camping place we used to go to and uh, I guess like everybody else all their prices has got, have gone up as well. We used to do the budget camping where starting June 1st to December, uh, Monday if you camped Monday, Monday through Wednesday night, checked out Thursday. The camping fees were only $15 a night, so that's what we used to do. So we even kept our camping on a budget. Um, yeah, so now there, it's actually $20. And the weekend cost is $35. So if we could at least get one camping trip in, we used to 
we used to do Monday through uh, reserve Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night and check out Thursday afternoon. That's what we used to do. So hopefully we can at least do it once this year. Um, my only my only thing with that is with the kitties being older and picky on what they eat, um, I'd be afraid, almost afraid to leave them alone for a few days. That's just a uh, uh, fur baby mom and me. <laughs> but when we used to go camping, I used left a bunch of food out for them and several bowls of water just to make sure they had. And they were always okay. I think they would be okay. I'm pretty sure they'd be okay. But that's just a fur baby mom and me kind of worrying about them. Once Glenn gets outside for the season, um, I'm sure we'll go for uh, little rides around town, which we'll take you on. Uh, we always drive to the lake, and you know us, we like our country drives, but we don't take them as much because gas is costly and this truck is a gas hog. I mean, our gas prices aren't, aren't too bad compared to some of yours. So, but we'll see. I don't want to say we're going to do this or that. You know me, I don't like to plan. Plans never turn out. <laughs> and we just take it one day at a time, just like the channel says. If it's meant to be, it'll be. If it's not meant to be, it won't be. But I hope it's meant to be. <laughs> I really miss just being in nature. We used to go fishing all the time. But the fishing has really gone down around these areas as well. And with Glenn being on a mobility scooter, it's hard to find shore fishing that's good and a good place that he can uh, just be on his scooter and uh, not worrying about if it's too downhill or inclined or whatever. So yeah. If any of you are, from, are uh, living in Arizona, Drop down in the comments, if you fish, how the fishing is there. Um, yeah, more so uh, winter time, because uh, summertime would be way too hot for us there. Yeah, drop it down in the comments if you know how the fishing in Arizona is. And what species is most common there. We like pan fishing, like bluegills and crappies. Um, we're not opposed to catching uh, all kinds of fish. Well, the bakery shop's a little crowded right now. This is the bakery shop here on the right where we get the rolls, but it is packed. Well, I'm going to go to the other bakery shop first, which is around the corner, and then, uh, then come back and hopefully the parking lot empties out a little bit. The nicer the days get, everybody wants to be out and about, and I don't blame them. says it's 71 right now.
right here on the right. I don't know if you can see it. City Bakery. pieces of bakery. Hi. I'm going to start off with the uh, cream cheese Danish over here. It's the last one there. Uh, two of the Pershings. And uh, uh, cinnamon roll with no raisins. Is that number five? That'll be it. Six dollars All right. Please. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. everyone so I just got here at the other bakery shop where it was full so I made the trip around the corner I just didn't record it because I would have to take the camera off my chest harness put it back on the dash and then take it off there to put it back on my chest harness to go in so I just didn't it's just around the block so one parking spot open and I grabbed it so <laughs> let's head in wearing my new socks and shoes today and they look pretty cute I might say nice to walk out of the house with a nice pair of shoes on a budget and uh, not wear shoes with a bunch of holes in them so yeah I think they look pretty cute on me <laughs> all right time to get home
right, everyone. So home from running to the bakery shop and the store. So now we're going to eat lunch. It's just before noon. It's 11.53. So we are going to have some summer sausage sandwiches. And I got the rolls because Glenn likes his on rolls. And if you've been with the channel for a while, you know I like mine on just regular sandwich bread. So uh, we're also going to have some of these honey barbecue chips that were sent in friend mail. And Glenn's going to have about three of these good size garlic stuffed olives. So and these little bowls I tell you I love them they come in handy for putting little stuff in there like that so the olives don't have to roll around on the plate but yeah so we're gonna have lunch now I took a roast out if you recall oh about a week ago two weeks ago I picked up two roast that were on sale and I took one out of the freezer for tomorrow letting it thaw out and I'm going to make pepper steak with it so I'm gonna have to cut it up um wait I wasn't supposed to tell you what I was gonna make <laughs> I was gonna leave that as a surprise but nonetheless <laughs> nonetheless I'm making pepper steak with it so we don't actually have steak I don't think um but I'm gonna use uh the roast and cut it up and make some pepper steak in the slow cooker so all right so I'm just gonna slice up this summer sausage Hope you're all having a good week so far. Again, it's Wednesday now. I'm going to start also, uh, I need to get out to the trailer and start getting it ready for Glenn to come out there. Can't wait till he comes out there because then we could go for a ride. <laughs> Gypsy's standing right here next to me and I said ride and her head popped up. <laughs> I usually just give Gypsy a little bit of this. And she knows she gets it so she sees me cutting it. She's here just waiting for it. Good girl. Okay, that's it. And there she goes. <laughs> when I say that's it, she goes. She's she's really good about that. So, all right, let's make some sandwiches. Oh, she said I'm back, Mama. <laughs> We're just gonna make one each right now. And Glenn is going to have some horseradish mustard on his. Glenn likes the, he likes his kind of thin, so, and I like mine kind of thick. <laughs> All right, perfect. Four pieces on each sandwich. I'm actually going to cut mine in half. So there is our lunch. 
for this Wednesday some summer sausage sandwiches honey barbecue chips and some uh, garlic stuffed olives so hey everyone so I am going to make supper now um, after I got home and we ate lunch I didn't record much so um, but uh, now I'm going to make supper and what I'm going to make is I'm going to use this chicken breast that we received from the food pantry a couple weeks ago and then just uh, boil up some of these no yolk uh, egg noodles and mix it together um, I'll just uh, cut up the chicken into like little bite sized pieces and then cook them in some like uh, um, chicken I'm going to use some chicken bouillon cubes to uh, make the juice in there. So something pretty simple. Um, Alright, so that's what we're going to have for supper. Now, right now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up the chicken. All right, everyone. <laughs> Sorry for the fog up. Let me just clean that lens there. <laughs> Oops, there it goes again. Oh, well, it's just going to do it again. But nonetheless, these are our no yolk noodles. Here's the chicken. I'm going to throw everything in there. It's a simple meal. Just cook your chicken, throw it in the noodles. Now I'm going to throw some butter in there. Salt and pepper. And Glenn's going to put some ketchup in his, on his. I think I might do the same. Uh, sometimes I just like it as butter noodles with chicken. But that's all there is to this meal. So sorry for the fog up. All right, so I know you can do many other things to this, add so many to so many things to it, but uh, we usually just eat it like this and pour ketchup on it, or just eat it as butter noodles with chicken. Uh, Glenn's even had it with uh, barbecue sauce. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, I'm just gonna plate us now, and that's gonna be our supper. All right, everyone, so here is my plate. I am actually just going to have it as butter noodles. So I'm going to sit down and I think I'm going to put on the voice on Hulu or no, on Peacock. And uh, it's right in the middle of it. So I think I'll put the voice on. If not, I'll put MasterChef on. So that's what we're doing or that's what I'm doing. So, all right, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate all your support. And with that, remember to live life. Be good to yourself and be good to others. Until next time.
Thank <laughs> you. 